If we compare and contrast mitosis with meiosis a little bit to look at the similarities and look at the differences here, um, first off, both processes are going to have parent cells that are diploid. And not only that, but the parent cells are also going to be somatic cells. Now, where they happen to be located at is going to vary a little bit. So when we're talking about meiosis, these would be in the reproductive organs. But when we're talking about mitosis, this is going to really be everywhere. Other things that we could look at is that both are going to start or be preceded um, with an interphase. And so what this means is that both of them are going to be preceded by copying of the DNA one time. Now, along with that, when we're talking about mitosis, we will divide one time. So we copy once, we divide once. With meiosis, we copy once, but we actually end up dividing two times. And what we end up with then is that in mitosis, we get two daughter cells. But in meiosis, we get four daughter cells. And the status of these daughter cells is going to be a little bit different. So if we talk about the mitosis daughter cells first, these are going to be diploid and they're going to be identical. And that's identical to each other and identical to that parent cell that they came from. In the case of the meiosis daughter cells, these are going to be haploid and they're going to be all different. The actual type of cells that we get produced is going to be different. So in the case of mitosis, we're getting somatic daughter cells. In the case of meiosis, we're getting gametes. So this is going to be our egg and sperm over here on the meiosis side. So that's the big picture of what's going to be different about them. Now there's um, some other little unique things that we could talk about with regards to meiosis, but those really focus on this part right here, that we do have differences. So there are going to be processes like crossing over, tetrads, we could say synapsis, kind of unique things that would happen over here in meiosis that actually contribute to those genetically different daughter cells at the very end of all of this. Another thing we could say is that mitosis is going to happen really all of the time throughout an organism's life, whereas meiosis usually has a limited time period where we're actually going to have the gametes, the egg and the sperm produced by that original parent organism.